Hello, 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 and welcome back aboard the good airship Hopium. I am your host and captain, Snappy Dude. And as always, the drinks and snacks are free. It's it's tacos and Mountain Dew today, so I hope, hope you all like that, because that's that's what I wanted. So anyway, today we got some great news. We're going to go over this uh, new update they just put out about the upcoming Ranked Season. So let's, let's dig into it. Here we go. Ranked Season 1 launches July 23rd. Get ready to go gigantic for glory and great new rewards. Hello, gigantic fans. Our ranked preseason on PC has now concluded, which means the launch of season one on all platforms is on the horizon. Season starting July twenty-third. Ooh, they they didn't put a space in there. That's gonna bother me. I can't even read this thing right, and I'm bothered by this space. I am. It's true. Starting July 23rd, jump off the airship in ranked mode for glory, ranks, and rewards. If you want to get a refresher on ranked mode, in the meantime, click this link that is very poorly colored against the background of this webpage. <laughs> Additionally, we'll be introducing in-game weekend events for you to get free hero and weapon skins that were not in the original Gigantic. So this is kind of cool because this is basically a second announcement inside of this announcement. So we're getting ranked mode and we're going to get some kind of event system that's going to start popping up, which is awesome. Sounds like week it's weekend events is what they're calling it right here. We're going to call it weekend events. Um, but that's cool. Uh, new weapons and heroes. It doesn't really say how they'll be unlocked or anything, but let's keep reading. Maybe they'll tell us. Pre-season recap with details on what's to come for ranked and in-game events. Let's look back at the past four weeks of preseason on PC. First off, a huge thank you to all of you who jumped into Gigantic Rampage Edition to compete in our ranked preseason. That was me. I did that. That was me. I Snappy did that. Snappy is awesome. Thank you for thanking me, Gigantic. Um, it was all me. Nobody else played at all. I just played matches against myself. 10 other clones of myself that I made in my lab. Uh, <laughs> as we mentioned before, this was meant to be a warm-up for the real deal, allowing us to do some fine-tuning based on your reactions. We're extremely grateful for all your feedback and suggestions during that time. They helped us quash some bugs and make adjustments that will improve your experience in Season 1 and beyond. Season 1 and beyond, we're getting we're getting to season 2. We're getting to season 2. They're saying it. That's what they mean. Which is great cuz it means we're going to have more than one season. That means if all these seasons are 3 months long, that means at least if they do a season 2, we we have at least another 6 months of gigantic. Um they better keep these goddamn promises. Anyway, and beyond, such as queue times and matchmaking improvements. So, Let's read that again. They helped us quash some bugs and make adjustments that will improve your experience in Season 1 and beyond. Maybe by beyond. Actually, never mind. In this context, I'm guessing by beyond, they probably just mean general matchmaking. Because they say such as queue times and matchmaking improvements. Which is good. But I mean, let's let's face it. Queue times and matchmaking stuff, they could have fixed without... Like, rank mode, I don't gave them nearly as much data as all the other matches people played as far as that regard goes. Um, season 1, sneak peek. Season 1 will last three months, during which you'll be able to try and climb the ranks as high as possible to earn exclusive profile portraits and titles. I like that. I like the fact that the rewards for the season... I like the fact that there's going to be rewards for ranked, because some games just don't have rewards for ranked. Like, they have season passes, but some of them just don't offer, like, rewards for, for ranked in any any way. But to do it properly, just portraits and titles is is perfect. That's what you want. You don't want something people are going to get jealous. You don't want, like, skins and stuff because then you're getting into stuff that you could monetize and make money off of or whatever. And you're just getting into stuff you don't want to segregate the community on. You don't want somebody who who's platinum to be able to have a skin that no... I mean, I guess you... I, I, I honestly wouldn't mind that. But I don't want to see too much of that, right? Like, I don't want to see, like, half the skins in the game end up being, like gigantic guardian exclusive or whatever 
Throughout these three months, we'll be running special weekend events for you to add new hero and weapon skins to your collection. Fancy a fresh new drip for Taito? Oh, they're teasing a Taito skin. M make sure to be around when it's time. We'll have a... See, I like that because weekend events are going to be a great way... Ranked is going to bring people back anyway. Hopefully. Um, and hopefully... Weekend events can do the same thing. I think weekend events actually might be a bigger deal because weekend events, if you have like cool rewards, would be really a really really good way to to grab people's attention and bring them back, especially if it's rewards for characters people like like Taito. Um, he's kind of the the. I was gonna say mascot. I think he's the mascot of the game. I mean, he is sort of like the the central hero in in most of the marketing. I mean, I think everybody gets a, a pretty good shine, but I think Taito definitely has kind of always taken the spotlight in that regard. He's kind of like Tracer in in Overwatch, where, where for some reason, when I think Overwatch, one of the first heroes that pops into my head is, is Tracer. And Taito's the same way for Gigantic, and I don't even play Taito that much. But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Make sure to be around when it's time. I will, because I want those skins, even for characters I don't play. We'll have a complete overview of what Season 1 entails and which rewards you can earn when and how when it hits on July 23rd. Which means, guys, we got to wait another week for more details. I was really hoping this would be the post where they gave us the details on what we could earn, what we could unlock, what all that stuff was. My guess is they want that hype to hit at the same time as Season 1. That way you can just jump straight in. Uh, when it hits on July 23rd, uh, once again, thank you all so much for your ongoing support. We'll see you on the airship. Overall, guys, uh, not a lot here. Um, I'm trying to, like, skim back through it. It's a lot of repetition. Like, what they say in the first paragraph is literally what they say in the next two paragraphs. So there's hardly any additional... This could have been condensed down. I don't know who wrote this, but it's it's very stretched out. Uh, they could have just made this, like, one one paragraph and cut... Like, there's just so much of it. Just, it's just repeating the same stuff. They just keep saying over and over again that it's starting next, next week, uh, that you're going to get rewards. It could have been condensed down a little. That's me nitpicking, though. Um... Overall, a bit meh. I'm excited. I am. I'm excited for ranked. Word on the street is that they're getting rid of five stacks, so that will be awesome. I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited about unlockable portraits and, and things like that. I'm excited about the fact that they're talking about us unlocking new skins. That's a huge deal because that's something a lot of people said we were never going to get. New content is new content. New skins are new skins. New titles are new titles. All that stuff is great, and it's something that people didn't think we were going to get. I think showing a little bit of this stuff, showing a little bit of this upcoming new content, uh, could be a great way to sort of uh, maybe get some hype back going for the game, get some of those people who left simply because they didn't think there was a future for new content to, to maybe kind of start to trickle back in. Maybe some of those hardcore people will start to trickle back in if uh, the matchmaking stuff gets fixed. The one other thing that I think is kind of disappointing is I get why they separated this from the big update, but we are promised a big patch this week. So hopefully we see that later this week and I will be back with another news video, but for now ranked next, next week. So uh, be excited July 23rd uh, and we're going to have some exciting weekend events. My guess would be the first weekend of ranked. They'll probably do some kind of double experience maybe a, a, a special skin for that first weekend of Ranked to try to draw people back into the game. I'm just speculating, but I'm hoping. Anyway, tell me your thoughts below. Are you hyped for uh, Ranked Season 1? Anyway, uh, that's it from here on the airship. Um, until next time, aboard the airship Hopium, this is your captain speaking. We're in a crash land now because I got stuff to go do. Have a good day, y'all. Ta-ta. Bye.